Hello and welcome to another RD video on our channel. So recently, some of you may have been following on Facebook, the thorny topic of black kites in the cradle just west of Johannesburg has cropped up. A couple of them have been seen, but they are considered rare in the region. So I went out with a group of birders to have a look and we saw dozens of kites. Uh, some obvious yellow-billed kites, some juveniles. And of course, we then got onto the topic of how you actually identify a black kite. Going out to the site and not being familiar with them, we wanted to prep ourselves and really have a sense of what we're looking for. And obviously, when we got out there, and it was a group of about 10 of us, we started to realize just how difficult identifying these kites are. So let's start with a couple of things. Um, in all of this, when I did my research, I had a look at a number of books. I looked at this Raptors of Europe and the Middle East. I uh, looked at my Collins Birds of Britain and Europe, the Collins Birds of Prey. I consulted my trusty Raptors of the World, uh, the Advanced Bird ID Handbook of the Western Palearctic, and of course, Southern Africa's biggest bird book work, uh, the good old Robert Seven. Um, and obviously in all of this, I started to find a number of issues. And I'm going to unpack how you identify these birds and what I found. So first off, let's talk about whether black kite is even a species. Uh, there's been a lot of conjecture over the years whether it actually warrants species status and yellow-billed kite. Is yellow-billed kite a species or not? The reality is it was under study for quite a number of years and around 2014 a scientific paper was published outlining all the evidence for yellow-billed kite being a species. It has since been accepted full species status and even to the extent that the Yellow-billed kite species has two specific recognizable subspecies. And it's the Egyptus species that we get here within yellow-billed kite. And then obviously black kite itself as another species. Uh, you'll see on the screen now the cover of the latest scientific paper written on the topic. Uh, the link to this scientific paper will be in the description on this video. You can go and have a read, but that really collates everything in terms of where we are at present with understanding and recognizing yellow-billed kite and black kite as separate species. So unequivocally, according to worldbirdnames.org, the official IOC list, they are separate species. So really, uh, you know, if you want to comment on the video, if you follow other taxonomic uh, thinkings and groupings as to, you, you may feel that black kite and yellow-billed kite are not separate species. I conform to worldbirdnames.org and the IOC official list. So that's what I go by. And according to that, yellow-billed kite and black kite are separate species. Now we get back to how to identify these birds. So one of the features that used to be mentioned and still is in some of the books and particularly our local field guides and apps is the depth of the fork of the tail. Now this I can state unequivocally is not a feature. On the screen here you see a black and a yellow-billed kite and you can see in my opinion there's obviously not much that I can see that would allow me to differentiate these two birds on the depth of the fork of the tail. On top of that, it varies greatly depending on the age and the state of molt. Is the tail fresh, is it not? So straight off, ignore depth of tail fork. Uh, it doesn't work. So we've now ruled that out. So the first and most obvious thing, when you've got a mulvous cut, and for those that don't know the scientific naming convention, all these birds start with the family name Mulvis. So when anyone says Mulvis kites, they're talking black and yellow-billed kite in our region. Elsewhere, you can add others like black-eared kite, red kite, and so on. They're all part of the Mulvis family. 
In Southern Africa, Milvus means black and yellow billed kite. So when you're confronted with one of these birds, the first and obvious way to identify these birds is to look at the bill. If it has an all yellow bill, it's yellow billed kite, hence the name. Straightforward, simple, no questions, no need to look at funny features, plumage and wing forms and colors and of the eye and the plumage, all that sort of stuff. Plain yellow bill, yellow billed kite, cut, dried and simple. When you have a bird that is a mulvous kite and it's got a black bill tip, I see so many people making the mistake to go, I see a black bill tip, it's a black kite. You need to stop at that point immediately because a black bill tip does not mean a black kite. A black bill tip means your problems have only begun. So what do I mean? Well, to identify a black kite as an adult, that is pretty straightforward. You've got a black bill tip, a pale, almost white eye, and a very light gray head with streaking. So if you can get a good view and a good photograph, that is very straightforward and simple. Pale eye, black tip bill, gray head, and you have a mulvous kite, and a black kite to be specific. Now, the youngsters of both species have a dark eye, and this is where the waters get muddy and it gets messy, and I've unpacked a lot of things over the duration of trying to find out how you identify these birds. I even spoke to some very knowledgeable local birders and I started to uncover some thinking on how you separate these juveniles and it was quite interesting how this all unfolded. So I spoke at length to uh, Peter Aitenvierde, very well known, very competent, very skilled and knowledgeable local birder and he mentioned some interesting features. The first thing is if you look at the fingers, the long primary feathers on the tip of the wing, the general consensus is black kite has six fingers, yellow billed kite has five. And that's all good and well. And the world expert on European and North African raptors, Dick Forsman, wrote a book about flight identification of raptors. And he published in his book himself that the black kite has six fingers, the yellow billed kite has five. That was all good and well until you see this bird on the screen. It's clearly a yellow billed kite. It has a yellow bill with no black tip. Look at the wing tip. It has six fingers. This we actually photographed on our effort to go and find black kite and this really put the cat amongst the pigeons because I sent this to a number of people and even Dick Forsman came back to me with this response you see on screen here basically saying that this is very unusual and that Maybe it's due to being in the process of molting the sixth primary feather. Nobody knows. But this really shot a huge hole in the ability to use six versus five fingers for black and yellow build cart. Clearly, we got a six fingered yellow build cart. So that really complicated things. So when you're dealing with a juvenile cart, what else can you use? Well, another feature that Dick Forsman mentions and also Peter Aitenvierde mentioned that he'd read in a number of books, is the broad wings. So black kite tends to have longer primaries overall, and what that means is the tip of the wing tends not to taper as quickly. And if you look at these two comparative photos, you can see in good ideal viewing conditions that black kite tends to have broader wings. It's not something I find subjectively in the field that easy for me to do. And I acknowledge my shortcomings, those, those areas of jizz, wing shape, uh, those sorts of things I battle with. But it is a feature. 
it is touted and you can see it in these pictures. It does work, although it's something I would struggle to use, but it is something useful. But the other thing is you have to look at plumage. And I sent a picture of this youngster to Dick Forsman asking his opinion. Even though it's got five fingers, is it a black cat? Is it a, a yellow-billed cat? And now we're specifically talking juveniles. Now, if you look at his response here, he is saying that effectively, because it's February, this bird's color is too rich for a black cat for this time of year. So why does he make the statement? And how can you have, at the same time of year, a yellow-billed cat juvenile with rich colors and a black cat with dull colors? So let's look at where these birds come from, how they breed. The yellow-billed cats we get in Southern Africa breed in Northeast Africa, Ethiopia, those sorts of areas. And when it comes time to migrate about September, October, they move down to Southern Africa. Now that means two things. Firstly, they've bred and molted later. And the other thing that's interesting that I read on, an, on a number of sources is that when the juveniles get to Southern Africa in the beginning of um, the Southern African summer, they undergo a post-migration molt. So they get fresh feathers when they get down here, which means January, February, when we're out looking for black carts, the juveniles of the yellow-billed carts have fresh feathers. That means the feathers are not worn, but more importantly, the colors are rich and strong. The black cart breeds in Europe and they migrate in about, say, June, somewhere around there. They migrate and they move down to Southern Africa. So they finish molting earlier. They suspend molt for the migration and they move down to Southern Africa and they don't do a post-migration molt as the juveniles when they get down here. So the net result is at the same time of year, in February, late January, the yellow-billed cart juveniles have fresh plumage and the black cart juveniles don't. This results in the black carts having a duller, more faded plumage. In that area of January, February, just before the birds migrate back to where they would breed, so that is something that Dick Forsman did mention in his email. And I'm not 100% sure without good experience of both, you can use that. But really this reinforces why many people consider the juvenile black and yellow-billed carts, generally speaking, inseparable in the field. The colors are fairly similar. They both have dark eyes. They both have black bill tips. And unfortunately, due to the picture that we took in the cradle of the yellow-billed cart with six fingers on the wingtip, the six-finger primaries on the wingtips of black and yellow-billed cart seems to now no longer be a valid feature. So the reality is, and let's summarize, you're in the field and you see a mulvis cart. All yellow bull, yellow billed cart. Black to bull, now you check the eye. Is the eye pale? Is the head gray? Then you've got an adult black cart. And several have been seen in the cradle in the summer, so they're definitely around. We do get black carts in Southern Africa. The moment you get to a cart with a black to bull and the eye is dark, to be brutally honest, even for the likes of world-renowned experts such as Dick Forsman, it becomes very, very difficult to separate juvenile yellow-billed and black cart. At that point, generally, for 99% of birders, 
And even for most of the birds, you would ask someone like Dick Forsman or Peter Aitenveerder for their opinion on. The yellow-billed kites, according to most, if not all, experts, as juveniles, those black bill tip birds are considered inseparable in the field. So that, in a nutshell, is how you deal with Milvis kites when you see them in the field, and particularly if you're going to go out and look for a black kite, which would be a rarity in South Africa. They become a bit more common in our, in our northern neighbours. But, yeah, it's, it's a tricky subject, particularly when you get to the juveniles. So I hope you found this video useful. I have put a link, as I mentioned in the description on this video, to the scientific paper that sums up the latest evidence supporting yellow-billed kite being an individual species. And in the description as well, I will list some of the books that I used. If you want to purchase some of those books, they're very, very good to broaden your raptor knowledge. But above all, I hope you found this video useful. And I hope next time you're in the field and you get a kite with a black bill tip, you're able to make a successful identification, particularly if you come across an adult black kite. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And please subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, and see you on another RD video soon.